Hey you, it's me again. Today I'm going to show you how I incubate the uh, Euromastix eggs. So when I get the little eggs, I put them in this uh, sandwich box, right? Plastic container. I poke a little hole right here in the front and here also on the other side. I put these uh, little uh, pebbles, I think it's called a uh, reptile hatch. Uh, it's made of clay, then you put some water, and it, it's perfect. Uh, you can also use uh, vermiculite, or uh, what's this here, there's some uh, perlite. Uh, you can use all sorts of uh, light stuff. So now I'm going to show you that little uh, incubator here. So. There you go. I made a few videos about these uh, homemade incubators. So, but like you see, it's a couple of tubs with a heater in the bottom. I don't know if you can see the heater right there. Make sure you check the other uh, videos about the uh, homemade incubators. And hop. There we go. That's whoops. That's a little baby Euromastix. Jerry or Gerai depends if you speak Latin or what. So there you go. Once they hatch, I leave them in this little container for at least another couple of days. Just to make sure that they absorb their uh, yolk sac and as you can see they're minuscule there you go so sorry to disturb you little baby and here you can see there's a baby that is hatching right now so I poked his nose out this morning and now I check on it again and as you can see the head is out and he should be out of the egg <laughs> Probably by the end of the day, maybe tomorrow, he'll be out. And then again, I'm going to leave him in this little container for at least two days before I move it into the nursery. So the nursery, what I call the nursery principle, it's a pretty simple terrarium. Oh, there you go. I'm just going to... There we go. A uh, nursery is a very simple terrarium, as you can see, it's just uh, the little paper towels on the bottom with the uh, heat surface, uh, very simplistic with a little hide here and another little hide there. And in this hide I put a little bit of um, paper towels uh, with just a little bit of humidity, ju just a tad, just a little bit, not too much. So as you can see, these babies are now a week old. So their first meal is going to be, um, I'm sorry to say, but the first meal is going to be a poop uh, from their parents. So they're going to eat that. At least their couple of, couple of first meals, that's what they're going to eat. And then eventually I'm going to give them greens like the parents. So in here what we have, we've got a residue of uh, mixed greens. We've got also hibiscus uh, flowers. I can see hibiscus leaves. Uh, there you go. So there you go. Oh, here a little one is going to poop. Maybe, maybe not. So there you go. That's how I uh, take care of the baby uh, Euromastics. If you've got any questions, uh, feel free to ask uh, questions. If you've got uh, any recommendations, uh, feel free to recommend. Have a good one.